Alrighty everybody, Mr. President, hope you're all having a wonderful day and welcome to the first um, annual podcast. Um, this one will be um, solo for now. I might have some people come in later, along, depending on what game I'm doing. If I'm doing Rainbow Six Siege, I might get some of Rainbow Six Siege players to come in and do it. But anyway, this is mainly going to be Star Wars based on the fact that we just got the new roadmap and other certain things. But first, I want to talk about... Up just give you some updates because it's been a while since I've actually done an update on the channel so I thought that this would be the best time to give a quick update before we actually get into you know the video and whatever so basically the the main thing is that uh, I want to do and change and um, you know at the moment I've been streaming every day for the last I don't know good been streaming for a good hour through three hours every day or well, that was school days last night a stream for about four or five hours playing Star Wars, which was a bit of an overkill, but that that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been really enjoy doing. Love that headshot. That was awesome. But um, basically, what I was been doing, right? I've been streaming Star Wars for four or five hours every day. You know, taking the best out of the best clips that I could find and putting them together. As you can see here, this is the first time I've actually played um, Heroes vs. Villains. So I'm kind of just getting attached to it, trying to understand it. That's why it's like, you know, the best first time playing Boba Fett as well. I think it was the first or second time, I couldn't remember. Anyway. Um, basically, anyway, so what I want to talk about is, um, what those, what the uploads are going to look like. Since that we are almost a month away from Spider-Man and that I want to get out, I want to finish God of War before we start that, it will be, um, I'll most likely be doing two to three episodes, well at least for the next two weeks will be about two episodes every day or every you know every second day will be four uploads depending because last night you know I was gonna play a bit of stream a little bit and then go record and instead of doing that I stream for way too long than I should have and that's kind of you know not a bad thing but not a good thing either um every six siege will be the same I'm going to stream it if I'm not streaming it I'm either doing videos on it or I'm not playing it right and um Speaking of Rainbow Six Siege, I did can my um, highlights and videos and shit because I wasn't happy with it. The music I wanted to use, I couldn't find, and it just didn't look as good as I wanted it to be. So I just I scrapped it completely. It was just a no go, you know. I didn't want to I didn't want to upload something that I didn't like, so I didn't upload it in the first place. Anyway, um, my Kingdom Hearts playthrough will be starting either after or while I'm doing Spider Man, depending on how, you know, what I'm doing at the time and how, um, like what I. Like, how, how long it takes me to finish God of War and how long it takes me to start Spider-Man. You know, if it takes me, you know, the entire, you know, month to finish God of War, I'll just wait until I finish Kingdom. i wait until I finish Spider-Man, and then, um, yeah. While we're at it, um, let's just get right into what I think needs to be fixed in this game. For it to be, you know, fun as such, or, like, and more enjoyable for playing. Now, as you, if you don't watch my streams or don't watch my videos, I mainly and most like only play specialist and assault because officer is boring and heavy I feel is too weak and what I mean by that is that I just don't do it I don't feel like I'm being a part like doing anything for the team by sitting there just you know I think he's pointless boring and just you know I th he feels useless to me the heavy anyway but what I think they need to fix for the officers uh, they need to either fix the officers, um, sorry, I'm trying to read and, sorry, they need to fix the heavy turrets, right? They need to fix those heavy turrets. What I mean by that is those ion rocket grenade turrets. I think they're a little, they're a little bit over the top. If you know what, if you don't know what I mean, I feel like, you know, you play Hoth. If you get Hoth, it's like, okay, cool. I'm going to have to either deal with the constant ion turret fire or, you know, something on the lines of that. It just feels like, it feels like if you're not got, if you're not playing Assault up in high quarters with Iron Grenades, you're not going to get killed. You're just going to get flung with Iron Grenades and you're going to die. Which is not fun, you know. It's the same with, um, Alderaan. I was playing that and, oh, I was getting flogged by him from halfway across the map. And it's so bullshit that that's how I was dying in the game. Um... Now we're going to move on to um, hero blaster heroes. I think blaster heroes need to either all have um, more HP overall, or have kill cards. If you know what I mean, 
I would, as Luke Skywalker has, he has a kill cast. Every kill he gets, he gets a bit of HP back. Now, I know Captain Iden, not Captain Iden, what's her name? Iden, I said she's the furthest, she's the second last on that screen. Um, she has that card that when you stun enemies, you get health. Yeah, that's, that's great, right? If you watch my Luke Skywalker high kill streak, you notice that I was getting low and I get a couple kills and my health would go back, which is great. It's fantastic. That's what we want, right? You know, Chewbacca's fine, as I'm reading here. He has all these, like, health cats. That's great, you know? It's, that's great. But think about it as, like, a Boba Fett, right? Look at his HP. He has 550. Give him a card that gives him HP. Now, I haven't looked over who and who does and who doesn't have kill cards. So bear with me. I don't... I can't remember who does and who doesn't, but anyway. I think, um, Jedi's... Depending on, like, which Jedi might be... Like, Luke gets one, we know that. I think Yoda doesn't need one because of his overheal. I think Rey might need one because all of her abilities are up forward. But, like I said, I don't know who does and who doesn't have cards. That'd be, like, something you could go in and have a look for. While, um, you know... While you were playing or whatever. Anyway. But, you know, Lando, he has those increased HP cards, so instead of having like 600 HP, he has 700, 850 HP or whatever it is, it's really good, right? I think that's great. I, th but I think that's what they need, yeah, Boba Fett can fly around in the air and, you know, be untargetable, I, get I guess that's fair, but what happens if, you know, they just, you know, have a couple of turrets or, you know, someone with decent aim or whatever, or they always focus him, it's just, it's unfun, right? I know that's probably impractical, but I'm thinking about it over an overall stage, you know, like, um, yeah, it's, it's a bit annoying, right? Imagine, like, um, if you've seen some of my clips, right, I'm playing as Han, and I'm just getting absolutely, you know, shot at, I'm getting destroyed, because I only have, like, six, he only has 650 HP, right? Imagine if you go in, you try to fight someone, they put you down to 500, yeah, okay, cool, that's like, you kill two guys, it's 500 HP, by another two, you know, so on and so forth, yeah, his blaster's got range, but it doesn't, it's not that far. So that's why I think they should add, give Han a blast card, I think that should be, like, a thing, anyway. I've labored on about that. We're going to talk about the roadmap here, and how um, I th what I'm going to my thoughts and what we want and what I want. And anyway, I think that the community overall kind of needs a better look at what they're doing. The game is they need to go and have a look and go. Okay, this is what people want and not what because you know you looked at the roadmap and it was what. At the end of fall, we were getting what, Grievous and Dooku or Anakin and something. I can't remember exactly what it is. I'm googling it now. But what we can talk about, you know, they're adding all these new cosmetics or bringing back the cosmetics. We don't want that. You know, that's that's like yeah, cosmetics and all that kind of shit's great. But do we really want that when we can have two new heroes? Like, I just think um, I just think it's like you know, a little weird. I'm googling it now so I can actually talk about it completely, but I just think it's a little little weird not to bring out everything at once. I guess I understand why you don't bring everything out at once, but it's a little silly. Alright, where's this roadmap? Where are we? Here it is. Here it is. I got the roadmap here. Mobile Twitter, no. Yes. Okay, yeah, here we go. Alright, sorry guys. I'm trying to read it off my phone. Here we go. Alright, so there's the new... There's the new Starfighter mode. I guess that's good. The new 4v4 Pete. I think that's cool, right? They're bringing out a new game mode. That's always great. You know, we always we always like new game modes. Fighting. I don't play it at all. I don't fly. Like I'm not playing a single flying game. At, like I'm not gonna play it, right? That's my honest opinion. I'm not gonna play it. There's not many people who I think are gonna play it. There might be one or two here or there that's gonna play it, but I don't know. Um. And then you know, there's a the game improvement. Heroes can turn lightsabers off and on. Um, lightsabers blocking will affect stamina, players swapping, that's cool. You can swap appearances pre-round, that's cool. Hero showdown, quality of life improvement, oh, okay, so there's just, there's a couple of, you know, nerf patches, you know, just some extra tweaks, which is good, we want, you know, tweaks again, that'd be, that's good, right? That's, that's something we want, I don't, you know, it's kind of like, um, you know, Remo Six Siege, if you looked at it, they added all the, they changed it up, they make it look, they make it look like brand new kind of shit, which is good, we like that, we want that, right? I think that's really good. Um, in August, we have the Clone Troopers... Uh, okay. So I'm trying to read this off my phone. I can't really see it. Emote and victories are now available into... Oh, with credits and crystals, right? So there's just a bunch of new appearances and um, unlocks and stuff. That's pretty much all it is. 
Hold on. Anyway. I think she's really good, but anyway. Um, and then full, we have uh, Obi-Wan Grievous coming out. That's... That's really good. We want that full. Everyone, everyone can be one of my favorites. Light sided, Grievous being one of my dark side. He's my favorite overall. Yeah, other than Maul, but anyway. Um, the new scale, a new sh shit, a new large scale mode. Is that gonna be like? Um, when I think of that, I think of like all the um, movies, right? Because that's where they get these maps from. And I was trying to think of a map that's massive, right? And all I could think of at the time was on. Attack of the Clones, the second one, where they're flying around and you fight Dooku. I can't think of the map. And then, um, yeah. That's also new, new clone appearances and hero appearances, so new stuff. Um, there's a new squad system, that's what the game's improving it for. Now we come into winter, get Anakin and Dooku, you get the Geonos map, which is going to be awesome. I think Geonos is going to be a really fun map. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, really cool. And then, um, you know, some more appearances for both. So, it looks like we're getting a bunch of new approach. Now that's that's great, right? But for a player like me, who like you know, I was watching my, my guy I was streaming every night. He's like, um, he's named something Ninja. I'll leave his um, link in the description. If you want to go check out streams every day for about four or five hours, he streams about twelve to one. Like here, he streamed last night. He started about twelve o'clock, one o'clock, and streamed till about four in the morning, which is fine for me because I was up doing this, making footage for this. So, um. I think I think that's the greatest thing about this game, right? Is that all of it, all the game overall, looks like it's going to be fixed. But I think what they really need to work on, which I think they need to, this is like a, my recommendations, the things that they need to fix, which make the game the game more fun to me. Now, I played the other night for about four or five hours, like I was saying, and only got angry like once or tw about two or three times. And the reason I was getting angry was because of two two to three reasons. One was being either the turrets or the um, officer ability. If you know what I mean about I'm talking about the officer, you know, his, his left bump or right bump, when he puts his hand up in the air and gives him a buff. I'm talking about the overheal, right? The overheal is an extra 150 HP. Imagine if you have a Yoda. Yoda is what, 400 HP overheal? That's 550 HP. That you're getting additional, like, are you guys for real? I'm, j I'm just saying it like as is. Imagine you're playing on, um, I don't know, you're playing on, um, what's it called, Tatooine. It was, this is the best expense I got because this is what happened to me. I was playing on Tatooine last night on stream. It was my, um, I can't remember if it was, up I don't think it was one of the games I uploaded. It might have been. And um, they were just so, so strong because everyone had overheal. And was using Yoda, right? Yoda was just so good. He is really good. I think he's one of the greatest heroes out there. You know, overheal, his force block is really good. What I don't like... Now, I'm I'm sitting here uploading and editing this video, ready to upload to, to you guys. And I've just realized that this bit that I was going to talk about has been taken out. And I can't exactly remember where I'm up to. And I can't be bothered to go through and watch, another, watch it a third time. You know, I've watched this the first time. Oh, so I did it. I watched it, I edited something, and then I went back, like, I edited a couple things, made the, the video shorter because I didn't want to talk for, you know, 40 minutes of gameplay. So I edited it out and made it sound better, made it look better, etc. Anyway. Now, basically, what I, I've been sitting here for, like, five minutes trying to figure out what I was talking about. What I'm talking about is that Yoda gives out, what, 400 HP, and the, and the, um... Heavy gives out 100, or the officer gives out 150. If you're attacking a defensive area, so it's not, not a, like a, a, a comm link, right? So it's not like a, you stand there and hold X on it. It's one of those capture points, right? One of those maps like Tatooine and all those kind of maps. It makes it really hard to capture it when there is 700, 800, you know, heavies, you know? Sorry, I'm trying to do the math in my head, but it's like, it's about 650, 750 HP heavies, if you look at it properly, right? You know, Max, Max Yoda, right, gives out 400 HP to hero, it felt to normal characters. So, it's kind of irritating, right, when, you know, you have a full, a hero HP leveled, oh, like heavy, right, and there's 20 of them, or, you know, 10 of them, and hero, it's just, it's a bunch of bullshit. Right now, I can't exactly remember what else I was talking about. I'm assuming I'm talking about the iron grenades and how they need to be buffed. And um, I'm going back through my notes now really quickly as I'm talking about this. Trying to figure it out what I was actually talking about. Um, yeah. So, 
I would like to apologize to the ending. I wasn't trying to. I was trying to extend it a little bit more. That's why you hear me stuttering, like going, meh, no, no. Um, so I don't know if you've heard about it, but the cooldown reduction buff. I'd rather have them have a cooldown. The cooldown as the main, not an add-on. So it reduces the cooldown of your hero, like your abilities, instead of giving you increased HP. I think that should be a cost of a card, right? Because you can have this, you can have improved turret flashbang and that, but you getting additional health and having bounty hunter or something in the lines of that, I think makes it officer really, really too much of a viable more pick over someone who plays plays assault and gets more kills. Like it, it, you know, you could have one of the best assault players in the world, but still get beaten by a um, by an officer with a burst thing hits you twice in there and you're dead, right? Overhealing. Offer has more HP than a heavy. It's bullshit. I think it's stupid. Anyway, um, the roadmap. I don't know if I've talked about that yet, but the roadmap is pretty cool. We're getting a bunch of cool stuff. Actually, no. Roadmap was before this. How can they fix the game? Basically, I'm also talking about. I'm like I said. I don't know where I'm up to. Uh, grenade. I think I'm also about grenades. I think they need to nerf, nerf the flash and impact and buff the iron. Not so much that it is stronger. Just as the cooldown is more. Cooldown is like not crazy stupid, but just so the cooldown is enough to make it even with the amount of turrets that I run into. Now I know there's a lot of other players who run into turrets, and I think that's the thing that I'm not understanding. Imagine if you chucked it, it exploded, and you got a one percent off of a point five percent off every every turret you destroyed. I think it'd be pretty cool. But um, I'm gonna leave you with the rest of this gameplay that I have here. Um. I don't know what else I spoke about, I don't know where I was up to, and I do apologize for it. I'm work sure to fix that in the next podcast. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. I'll also be streaming in like an hour or so after this goes up, so. I also just realized where I was up to on the whole podcasty talky thing. Anyway, um, what I was basically talking about, the bit that I've del- the bit that I lost didn't really make sense, and then the bit after the thing I just edited didn't really make sense either, so I'm going to come in now that I have actually an idea of what I want to talk about, right? Basically, what I'm trying to talk about by the whole iron grenade upgrade, or the, the, the buff, as what I'm talking about, is imagine a map like Tashik, or not Tashik, what am I talking about? <laughs> Takudana, or those type of close quarter small maps. What is 95% in that game? You see, I see more officers in that game than any other class, right? And, you know, they're all rocking, um... Put my controller down so I don't have to hold it. Every, every class I see there is officer. So how do you counter that? How do you, honestly, how do you counter that? The best way to do it is to get an iron grenade that gets a cooldown percentage of 0.5 or 1% or whatever every time you destroy a turret. Now this is might be like, oh, but what happens late game? It doesn't matter. The amount of turrets I see in games, it, the, you wouldn't get the buffs. So like, I just destroyed three turrets. That's 1.5, or you know, three. No, three percent is a little bit over the top. So a point, 1.5 percent, right? It it makes playing assault against officers a whole lot easier for players. Especially, imagine like um, you see me play on like maps, especially like um, like sorry, I think of the word Endor. Look how close quarter and crazy that map can get, right? What happens when I don't have toughen up? There's three guys in front of me, and I don't have an iron grenade. Like with the tar- imagine there's turrets and stuff there. I have to stand there and wait for my toughen up to come up. That's kind of you know bullshit. That's where the officer buff comes in, which I think is better than you know extra HP. Yeah, extra HP is better, but I'd rather t- I'd rather have my toughen up, which obviously heals me will obviously heal me for more than 150 HP, which is great. You know, I have that cooldown reduction on my um, iron grenade about, you know, 5%. That's, you know, an extra 5%, which comes up quicker. I chuck it, pop, insta heal. They're at lower than HP than I am. I kill them all. It's really good. But I think the thing that they need to fix... I can see why these buffs are overpowered as such. But it makes playing the objective and being more aggressive viable and not being a girl and hiding behind a head glitch for 15 minutes on Galactic Assault and or second point, you know, or second objective hold or whatever you want to call it. The, the massive big jungle bit with iron grenades, you know. 
it kind of goes on with the whole hero cards having bla blaster heroes having all having hero cards. It kind of doesn't make sense in multiple people's eyes, right? But I think if the game wants to make everything even and fair, that's how they gotta do it, you know? We have to deal with heavies having this grenade, this weapon, right? No, I don't have it because I don't play the heavy. So I don't know if it's as good as it is, but I can assure I can assume it is. I think also what they need to um here here's a perfect example. I'm gonna let this video play out, and it will prove my fact that holding an objective with Yoda and officers with overheal is broken compared to having the you know any other right. I looked at that guy and was like, is this bad guy? Anyway, I just don't understand why. I get it, but I don't get it. But yeah, I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of this. Please feel free to comment, like, subscribe. Like I said, I'll be streaming later tonight. I'll be um, playing God of War and then playing some Star Wars when the new update comes out. But thank you very much. I'll see you all in the next one.
operative on site. What's the plan? What's the plan?